Hola corazones, mis amorzotes. Bienvenidos a nuestro canal. Welcome to our channel. Listen, I am desperately trying to learn Sofia Richie's bun method. Um, so besides the point of this video, I've been watching her tutorials and doing my hair. She has made dirty hair cool, okay? I'm not a fan of the messy bun. I could never do it and I don't like it. I look too like Jenny from the block. Don't like the messy bun on myself. But the clean, sleek bun is my vibe. So I've been desperately trying to do it, especially when the hair is not washed. So let me know if you've done it too, because I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I've been buying all these hair products. I'm obsessed. My shirt is inside out. But I'm the only one that knows, except for you now. Not inside out, backwards. Como estamos corazonazos. I am bringing you this video because I love me tag videos. And Simply Aisha made this tag video. Fuzz, hate fuzz and dust. The wonderful Simply Aisha made this tag video and I saw, what did I say? The wonderful Aisha, Simply Aisha made this tag video and it's a really good one. I love tag videos because then I, I get to join in on the fun, tag myself and let you know what I think while I'm by myself about my collection. <laughs> I get to think these thoughts out loud and I don't have to come up with a video because that is so hard to come up with videos that I want to do. But this tag is really fun. I saw Sharita's also. Oh, I love it. It's so fun. So I thought I would join in and let you know my answers to Aisha's questions. So I'm going to read them out loud to you. Follow along. Let me know what you think too, please, about my picks. Please answer these questions for me in the comments. All right. The first question is, what is your boss babe scent? I picked, I really, oh, I'm always so scared of sweating. I was gonna say bleeding under my arms. Sweating under my arms. I need Botox under there. Boss Babe Scent, Vibrato Suspiro. So I picked this one because I feel like I do. I feel like even though it's just like a clean scent, it's so zesty. I feel like it makes me feel powerful. It makes me feel confident. And it also, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a baseline scent. Like it's not sweet. It's just zesty and clean and bright and feel good. I feel like this is a very feel good, but like a stomping your ground kind of scent for man and women. And yeah, I think this is a very powerful boss babe scent. And also it's not, it's very unisex. It's straight down the line unisex. You know, it doesn't lean feminine. So as a woman, you can just wear this and show up in any sort of situation where you need to just step it up, ramp it up, ramp up your bot, your bad, your, your bad business. She will do the trick. Next question is my go-to bedtime scent. So this is tricky because I really, I like, I sample a lot when I go to bed. Uh, I wear a lot of the samples and even like, I wear a lot of the perfumes in my collection at night that I want to wear to bed or I sample a lot when I go to sleep. But if I'm picking like a relaxing going to bed scent, this is my favorite type for that kind of mood, like Chanel boy. I, I, this is a forever, forever. I love you forever. I love you. It's such a just deliciously comforting, powdery, clean, soft, pillowy, gorgeous scent. It's such a mood. She's such a vibe of comfort to go to bed. Chanel. Chanel boy. Next one is your hug in a bottle. So along the same lines. Oh, why are you dirty girl? You. 
along the same lines as uh, uh, comforting remember me's Joe Boy this is the epitome of hugging a bottle now hugging a bottle is one of those things in fried combo where I'm like what <laughs> what are you talking about girl I don't know I, what a hug in a bottle is like I just can't wrap that around in my head like this bottle is a hug in a bottle, but I get your drift. So if someone was to give me that comforting, snuggly scent, a blanket in a bottle, I guess, a hug in a bottle, it would be a Remember Me is Joe Boy. The spiciness with the tea and the vanilla in here is so delightful, so comforting, so heartwarming, so like spirit lifting that this is this is such a beautiful all around comforting soothing scent remember me if you're feeling any sort of way put on remember me okay this is funny um what is your secret weapon of mass seduction that's a funny one because I feel like I have a lot of sexy ones in my collection, but like this is specific. This is specific. This is specific. She said we secret weapon of mass seduction. So this is a very specific type of seduction. So if you guys didn't see my solo Musk Ravageur video in my deleted channel, I feel bad for you. Uh, that has to be without a doubt a secret weapon of mass seduction without a doubt has to be Musk Ravageur. This is my storybook romance novel fantasy of Rah! This is the sexiest raunchiest Come hither. I see you. I have butterflies, but they're the butterflies are on fire You know, they are in my throat they are rising up to my hair, my, my, my neck, my feels just all over my body. So, and I'm walking up to you. I see you. Musk Ravageur by Frederick Mall. That's it. Done. Sliced up. Just done. Mass seduction, weapon of mass seduction. Secret weapon of mass seduction. It's a great one. That's a great category. Oh, I should have put a highlighter on my collarbone. What a miss. What is a fragrance you never wear but can't part with? Oh, Oud Bouquet. I never wear her. I never, I love her so much. I love her so much. Oh, she's like a mirror. I love her so much, Oud Bouquet, Lancome. Never wear her, look, look how my bottle is absolutely full to the brim. And if you know me, if you know me, you know that I go through my bottles, I use them up. I use them up to the last drop. I have dents everywhere. She's full to the brim. I don't know why. It's like, I think this Oud Rose combination is, it's, it's miraculous. It's intoxicating and like, it's freaking stunning. But if I was to wear something as strong as this, I'll reach for like Oud Satin Mood. Okay, maybe I'll wear you for New Year's. Maybe. One of my favorite fragrances that I don't wear enough of, and I have a reason. So, uh, this is Maison Sirs. One of my favorite houses. Maison Sirs Perfect Oud. So I feel like a lot of my, I have also Trey Cher. It was a toss up between this one and Trey Cher that I don't wear enough of. And they are my favorite, like top, top shelf. Favorite, favorite. Mizenser is one of my favorite houses. 
like hands down. Uh, Perfect Oud, I think is my favorite one. Ugh, I don't know, I love Treasure so much too. But Perfect Oud, oh no, I just has my heart. Oh my. I don't wear enough of Perfect Oud because this was like within the first two weeks, this dent. And I just like, I don't want to, I know if I start wearing her again, I just, I'll wear, I just, maybe I'm so, so stupid. I'm so ridiculous. Like just wear it. I love you so much. You should be on my skin. I should feel your presence all over me. So I gotta stop that. So I don't wear her enough because I'm afraid she's gonna leave me too soon. But I should. This is one of those where like I need a decanter. I need a decanter of Perfect Dude. The most, the cleanest, smoothest oud ever. If you don't, I keep going like that because I'm like. <sighs> if you don't like oud, you still should try Perfect Dude by Me Sensor. Oh yeah, absolutely. What is a fragrance? you would recommend for a beginner that wants to smell unique? Uh, you know, I, I recommend, <clears throat> I was gonna say Balda Freak for this, but I picked Kayali, because even though Balda Freak is very popular, I, th I still think it's one of the most unique scents that is very, very likable. But I picked Kayali's The Wedding Velvet Scentel for this because I just feel like not, it's a little more unique in the sense of the scent maybe. No, I don't think she's more unique than Val de Freak, but maybe she's d deeper, a little richer, obviously because Val de Freak is zesty and bright. This one is more, this one is thicker and obviously it's new, so not a lot of people have it, but jasmine tea leaves white moss cedar wood benzo and sandalwood and it is so romantic i mean i really love the white one i forgot what it's called the white one i really is it on sale on sale still i really want that one too but this i just i chose this one because i found it more beautiful than the white one the white one is so great and and fun and i love that one too it's, it's sweet but gorgeous but this one I found more artistic I found it yeah richer more unique the sandalwood and the benzoin in here and the musk for me let me spray yeah it's so gorgeous they really I really huda or not huda um Mona make this permanent Otherwise, we're not going to be friends. <laughs> yeah, if, if you're a beginner and you want to smell unique, I really... Can you check this out? Maybe I shouldn't have put this in this category because maybe you can't even get it. So in that case, try Balda Freak. <laughs> what is a fragrance that I love that everyone else seems to hate? So I don't want to put hate. I don't want to say hate because I don't think anyone hates it. Actually, I think I've seen some negative reviews, but I think it's just because she's so different. Oh, she's so different. And you're talking about unique? You know, I love my very artistic, unique, just like, what is that? That's my favorite category. It's like something I consider a complete art piece. Oh, this camera. Hold on. Mamma sotto, mamma sotto, ciocia nota, mi amor, mi amor, e te pancita che tan bella. Your hair is gonna stick to my lip gloss. So yes, like art deco, interesting. Like, stick me in a basement and there's paintings that I've never seen anywhere, er, any, anywhere that speak to me. Those are my kind of scents. So that is like, Ducita's La Rhapsody Noir, Ray, Noir Ray. I, ha I haven't seen the best reviews on her, 
but she's to die for. She, I absolutely am so enthralled with the scent. So enthralled. She makes me feel so many things. She makes me feel like a baddie, but also classy and also like... I don't condone smoking cigarettes at all. I don't smoke, but I'm just saying like cigarette smoke like red lipstick smudgy eye combat boots but like freshly blown out hair and like just i don't know she's such a vibe i absolutely am so enthralled by this scent and i don't think a lot of other people are but let me know let me know if you've tried her or let me know if you've seen other good reviews that I have missed. But she is a doll. She is a vamp. She is a baddie doll. We love her. An overhyped, what is it? What is? Espérate. An overhyped fragrance that you currently own. So does overhyped mean that I don't like it? Because I don't have like any that I don't like in my collection. Oh no, except, yeah, yeah, I do. Some of that I'm working with. Like Ani. Mommy! Que hace, mama? So overhyped, so I really adore the scent. And it definitely took me a bit to adore her because at first I didn't get the hype. I didn't get the hype. This is a for real cooking vanilla, and as you can see, she was not in my top five vanilla videos, even though I love her. I, so if you put a video on like why I love her, I love her. <laughs> This is Spiritus Double Vini, the Guerlain, Guerlami, Guerlain, I'm sorry. I love her, but I definitely think she's overhyped, especially for the price. I definitely feel like Angelique Noir is so much better. If you were, this is also like a straight vanilla. I mean, she has woods and, you know, she's deeper and very sexy but I prefer to Hota but I do love her don't get me wrong I love her now and she's definitely gotten better over time because you can see my bottle is dark this is the new bottle the new styled bottle and she has a little dent and I do love her I just do I do I do think she's overhyped perdón, perdón, perdón. A fragrance that's on the chopping block for me. Now, I don't really have a chopping block because I like to experience most of my scents. I do give some away that I love, but, like, those aren't on the chopping block. I just give them away because my friends like them a lot or whatever. But if one was to be on the chopping block, besides Ani, it would be Alien. There's also, look, it's almost like the half. She's halfway done. But, like. Same as Ani, like if you don't know my Ani story, watch my other videos. But Alien is one that like, God, sometimes I just love her. Sometimes I'm just like, you're so good. And sometimes I'm like, you are so annoying. I feel so irrit, like I am an irritating person. Like no one wants to talk to me when I wear Alien. So if one was to be on the chopping block, it would be Alien. The last fragrance I purchased is, I think it's The Wedding, the Velvet Santal. Did I even say what that was before? Velvet Santal 35. <laughs> I think this is my last one. I've been on Lou by, actually, I don't think I've bought something in a while. Um, I've been using, wearing my perfumes, enjoying my collection. I do have some on my immediate wish list, though, that I am, like, waiting for Black Friday. Um, the wedding, though, yes, this is my, the last fragrance I bought, I think. And since I haven't bought any, so the, what fragrance is at the top of your wish list? I have three, three intense ones that are on the top of my list. Three that are just fighting for that top spot where I'm probably just going to get them all at once. But I'm waiting for Black Friday. Um, number one, I went perfume sniffing with Michelle de Udo Pantograph. I think that's her 
name. I love her. <laughs> I don't know how to say her handle every time. I don't know how to say it. Uh, I went sniffing in New York with her and I found a love. A love that whisked me away to the all heavens. And there was a I only had a carry-on. I couldn't bring her home. I didn't want to lose her. There was a whole thing and we were parted. We parted ways. But she is coming home with she I'm gonna pick her up soon. So fret no more. La cautiva. La figure, I think is the house's name. I'll put it in the list. I'll put it in the description list. La cautiva captivated me. Absolutely captivated me. The the most beautiful, creamy, fruity scent I've ever smelled in my life. I can't wait until we meet again. She's pricey. I'm waiting. I can't wait until we meet again. Also, I think my favorite, my, I have a few Sospiros. My favorite, actually these are toss up and I don't even have them maybe. I don't even have them, but oh my god, oh my god, um, pasticcio is top, 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 top. I don't know why people aren't talking about pasticcio. I'm absolutely obsessed. I'm die hard. I am die hard for pasticcio. It is the best from Suspiro, besides the next one, which is also this computer competing, the Herba, Pur Herba Pura. So I went sniffing. I have a vlog with Anna and I, my lovely Anna. Oh my god. My beautiful Anna, Anna uh, fragrance here on YouTube. We went sniffing in Beverly Hills and I was completely taken back by Suspiro's Herba Pura. And I got the whole spiel on how that's the OG Herba Pura, not Zerjavs. So there's a whole story, it's dramatic. And you know, if you want the tea, Google it. But that one is so much better. Now I love, Sus I love Herba Pura, I have it. But the Suspiros Herba Pura? What? So much easier to wear, so much smoother, so much fresher. It is, oh, I have to, I just have to, oh, it's like kind of this bottle co colors, this, the bottle is this color. Unbelievable scent. So those three. God, I just can't wait, I can't wait. And then the last question, my footsies are asleep because I crossed, crossed them on the floor. My number one fragrance for all life, y'all already know if you know me, these, I couldn't pick one because they're just, I just couldn't pick and they are both top, obviously Oud for Greatness. My number one fragrance for life. I cannot live without it for greatness. My best self in a bottle. My most powerful, best self in a bottle. And Santal 33. My, also my best self, but in a different, in a different mood. I, yeah, I, sorry, not sorry. Santal 33. Charlie, Phoenix, Charlotte, together. Whatever name you call me, I'm in here. Hello, nice to meet you. What is? Corazones, this was so much fun. Aisha, thank you for this tag video. Anyone that wants me to do a tag video, tag me because I'll do it. This was fun. I haven't done one of these in a while, I don't think. I love it, I loved it. It made me think, it makes me think too, and it makes me go through my collection. I love staring at my collection, adoringly trying to figure out, you know, what makes me feel what. So these questions are lovely. Answer them for me. Answer them in the comments or make your own video. Please post it. Tag me. Tag Aisha. Los amo. Cuídense.